Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 10 year old eMachines desktop computer. This is an eMachines ET1352 and while most people by now would have probably given up on this system like someone did at one point, what I've decided to do was make two simple upgrades to this to make it a system that someone would actually want to use. So today we're going to be doing a couple of simple upgrades to speed up this computer and make it something that someone would actually want to use for say web browsing. We're also going to be taking a look at the gaming performance even though this is using the integrated graphics which we'll get on later. But uh, yeah without further ado let's talk about the specifications of this system. So the CPU in the system is an AMD Athlon 2x2250, which is a 2-core, two 2-thread two CPU. Now, most of these systems, from what I've seen online, came with the AMD Athlon 160U, which is a single-core CPU, and I bet even when that came out, it was super slow at running Windows 7, which is what this originally came with. So it has 3 gigabytes of DDR3 memory and a 300 gigabyte hard drive which isn't the original it's just one that i had lying around that i loaded up windows 7 on it and then for the graphics it has a, a nvidia geforce 6150 se which if you saw my video a couple months ago isn't very capable at all and according to user benchmark is the worst <laughs> gpu on that website this also has a 250 watt power supply which means that you can add a low power card like a GT 730 or 1030 without any issues at all. You might even be able to do say like a 1050 as long as it doesn't require an external power connector. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do the upgrades. So first is going to be the RAM that we upgrade. We're going to upgrade from 3 gigabytes of RAM to 5 gigabytes of RAM. And well yes, this board can support up to 16 gigs. Uh, the reason that I'm only putting 5 gigs in here is because I don't want to put in my fancy uh, DDR3 DIMM. So I only have one non-fancy DDR3 DIMM that I'm going to be putting in here. And it's a 2 gigabyte uh, Samsung one. So while 5 gigs a lot of people say isn't enough for web browsing and a lot of Chrome tabs, it's perfectly okay. Next is the hard drive. So we're going to be upgrading it from a 300 gig uh, SATA 1 hard drive to a 128 gig silicon power. Uh, SSD. This was the cheapest SSD that was 128 gigs that was available on Amazon, and that's why I picked it. Uh, but yeah, this will make the responsiveness of the system so much better. And I did a boot test on the hard drive and the SSD, and the hard drive took a uh, little over two minutes to boot, while the SSD took just about 35 seconds to boot, which is a much needed improvement. Now, there's nothing stopping you from reusing that old hard drive for, say, storage. So after putting the computer back together, I started a Windows install, and I was going to make a time lapse out of it, but I mean, I kind of am, because I'm speeding up the footage, but I was going to put a time lapse of music on, but whatever, I couldn't be bothered. And after doing all of that, and in installing uh, drivers, which I recommend using Snappy Driver Installer for anything um, newer than Windows 2000, because I think it works on XP and up. So, I would definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, so after all of that... I got finally got the Windows 10 install all ready to go and instantly the usability of the system was so much better. You could actually like web browse and do stuff on it and you can even watch 720p video which for most people is probably acceptable. If they're going to be using this kind of a computer they're probably not going to be using a full HD monitor. So just for fun I decided why not try to game on this. I've already tried gaming on a 6150SC in the past. But we have a much better CPU than an Athlon 64X2. So I figured, hey, why not? So so let's take a look at that gaming performance, and I bet you it'll be great.
sex, living another sex, and I'm tripping cause I went too fast and now I need to dab up lifted dreams, I do not want your crap. So those were all the games that I managed to test. The reason why there wasn't that many was because this GPU only supports DirectX 9 and maybe 10, but all the games that I've got, I got a couple more games, which I'll probably show in a different video, but those all require DirectX 11 and later. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the title said that I was bringing it back to life, even though there was nothing wrong with it, but... Basically, I just wanted to make a video on how you can kind of bring your PC back to life, make it actually something that you want to use, make it seem like it's brand new. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You could say the title's a little misleading, but uh, you know, <laughs> deal with it. So, uh, new video coming soon, and I will see you guys next time.